Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, then welcome. Come on in, tell a friend, like, share, and maybe subscribe if you like the vibe. Nine times out of ten, Spirit guided you here for a reason. There is a 99.9% .9 chance that maybe there's something here that you need to know about something. Maybe you just need to know a little bit more about. Whatever it is, come in supporting your higher self. You know what? Say to yourself, you know what? I support my higher self. I deserve to get additional truth and clarity. That's just a recommendation. That's just a really nice affirmation and something good to say to yourself as you ascend to your highest good. Nine times out of ten, though, you manifested this reading by way of the truth. So welcome. Take this energy as it resonates. If it's not your reading, maybe it's another reading on this platform. The beautiful part is all the readings are timeless. If I said something last year on this exact day, or maybe just last year in general, maybe there's a reading there for you. So feel free to look around. Mi casa es su casa, respectfully, you know. I come in peace, love, and light. Now, if you're returning back to the channel, hey, na, 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 na. You are my beautiful, amazing soul tribe. I love you so freaking much. We deserve to be here together, happy and free, thriving and striving for the betterment of our higher selves as it relates to all of humanity. This is what we signed up for. And so we're having a really good time and it's okay. Listen, you survived. Do not curb your enthusiasm. I'm only stating the obvious. You know you don't need my permission to be happy, but come on in here and let's just get to this spiritual work. Newcomers, listen, occasionally, depending on the energy that I channel, by way of what the Most High tells me to say, sometimes I have impromptu spiritual commercial breaks. They are a move of the Holy Spirit. Honestly, in all truth and honesty, the way my gift works, when I have those commercial breaks, it's like me telling life, look, you always own life. Pump some commercial breaks, put a break a, a, a speed bump a something in the middle of what is going on depending on the energy that's being channeled so newcomers just a heads up okay you got your google commercial breaks and then you got your spiritual court commercial breaks <laughs> by yours truly as inspired by yours truly but come on in we do have a song called the soul tribe song that was the point to me explaining that okay the commercial breaks and the soul tribe song Feel free to join in. It's a very catchy tune. It's absolutely taking on a life of its own. And it's really easy to catch on to. So you might find yourself singing this even if you're not watching the video. Even if you're not moving your lips, you might be in your mind like, mm, mm, mm. you know how it goes. Come on in here, Soul Tribe. I love you so much. Listen. Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. So tribe, so tribe, I love you so much, my beautiful soul tribe, flying high, let's touch the sky. tribe come on in newcomers sometimes we do a little tarot asmr depending on how my energy moves and or goes with the flow listen there's a message here for you i recommend that you are overly meditated grounded not overly medicated you need to be sometimes in a sober mind state however this is a judgment-free zone i know that seems like an oxymoron it seems as though one might concede how the hell is going to be a judgment-free zone and this is spiritual court? I know. I know. I know. The Most High is still working with me on that. But guess what? I will tell you this. Judgment absolutely has to come from on high. I'm just the vessel. And that's a really big deal. 
I hold a very powerful position. So if you feel something's triggering you or you a karmic cross watching Karen and you just be like, I don't like her. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the song. I don't like the commercial breaks. And listen, this was our time together. Don't shoot though. I am the messenger. It is in my spiritual contract. Touch not the anointed. Do the prophets no harm. Shout out to the people that survive the really long intros. Listen, some people come here just for the long intros. <laughs> some people after the intros are over, they're like, ah, that was so refreshing. You know, they just click off. They don't need to hear the reading. Okay. Shout out to you. You're very special people. Creator of all things. I thank you so much. As above, so below. Thank you for the beauty that is still in the earth by way of the earth angels that are bringing balance by way of peace, love, and light, raising our frequency to the highest vibration possible. We thank you for the angels that you've created that so effortlessly come when we call protecting us war angels deliverance angels recording angels judgment angels righteous and or justice angels that are calling down justice for all those people where some situations are just long overdue for spiritual justice and or karmic justice as it relates to the spiritual law listen i ask that you give me a good vibration Give me all this good energy that I need that you have gifted me with so that I can overcome any obstacle that appears in my way. I send the same prayer out to all the beautiful people that are truly doing the work, that are truly in alignment with you, Most High, being obedient to what it is that you are telling them to do by way of their birthright. Thank you for divine intervention. And so it is, so it is. That is my soul tribe family. I love y'all. Listen, current energy universe. What's good, universe? Somebody get the universe on the phone. Do, 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 do. Hey, universe. Hey. It's us again. What is the current energy for the divine collective? What is it that you want us to know? Ooh, we. Ooh. Well, you know, sometimes you just need to know that you know. It doesn't mean that something is uh, prospering, right? It says, yeah, they're going to form weapons. Eh, okay, it's okay. But it says in the promises that the weapons will be formed against you, but they absolutely will not prosper. This is just another opportunity for you to learn and grow from something. Somebody's trying to block your blessings, okay? They're really, really trying hard. Um, yeah, third party, betrayal, fake people, hidden player, mask, tricks, ops, stabbed in the back. It's giving me raggedy ass, fake ass, two-faced it, doppelganger, counterfeit as mimicking real light, or wanting to be your real friend type of a fake ass friend. Like, let's just call it what it is. Third party, honey, fake people. The third party could absolutely be something that is trying to get in the middle of something that you have coming in, okay? So let's just be clear. Let's keep it a bug fresh out the gate. A third party could be a fake family member, a child, a phony ass, baloney ass ex that you used to be with. Somebody that you can know currently. Maybe you met them. Maybe you're being tested on discernment. To see if you're going to discern that same toxic ass energy. You know, one thing about dark energies, they love going for the weakest link, right? So if somebody doesn't want you to have new relationships, you know, they will attack the weakest links around you. Weak neighbors, weak children, whatever. This is why you got to build your children up, teach them how to pray and teach them how to spiritually slay. And so they will. But a third party is just somebody that's trying to block your blessings. It's, it's, you know, you got the meat and two slices of bread. And then you got somebody that wants to put, you know, some rancid shit on your sandwich. And you're like, listen, I'm just in life trying to do my thing, man. Give us the current energy. I feel this person's defeated. I just heard defeated. Now they feel betrayed. Don't you love how when people are like attacking other people and all of a sudden they become the victim? <laughs> they feel like they have the right to attack you. Okay, those are the scariest. Those are the scariest people. Nevertheless, okay, show us the third party. Yeah, they want your destiny. You see that seven of swords, child? Sneaking around like a slithering little sneaky ass, sly, slick fox ass snake. Okay, this is your destiny. So this is you and this is them. You both have two separate agendas. You wake up with a purpose, setting your intention, saying, you know, I love myself. I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm happy. I'm calling in all good things. And somebody's waking up determined to 
go to and fro looking for whom they can devour again these are two polar opposites two parallel lines two lines that will never intersect somebody could be trying to jump on your line but they don't have enough of what they need to ride this line this is a certain time line by way of your divine alignment clarify who is the seven of swords uh, okay it's an aquarius possibly somebody from the past this is a past life contract this person is really dark in nature okay they've been doing this for a whole bunch of lifetimes they came back again to do it again but it is an aquarius okay so let's just be clear the reason i say that normally i'll just say oh maybe it's somebody in the public eye blah 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 no clarifying it is an aquarius that's doing this to you okay the seven of swords is aquarius energy okay somebody could be playing mind games creating some type of an illusion six of cups is illusions but it's like illusions about the past. It's like keeping a dark cycle open or, you know, making you or wanting you to feel as though something hasn't changed or something like that. Right. Like, oh, I'm going through this again. No, you're not. Somebody's working really, really hard to try to stop that wheel of fortune for you. They could be collaborating with other people just like them, child. Ooh, we Capricorn energy. Somebody's birthday could be in January. Somebody's birthday could be in January. Mm -hmm. They're coming up as a queen of swords. What's their deal? I just heard jealousy. Consumed with jealousy. They're being controlled by some type of dark energy. Okay, that's on assignment. And they don't even know why they hate you. King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is you. You're coming up as somebody that loves themselves. Emotionally intelligent. Balanced, compassionate. This really does irk this person's nerves to the core of them, okay? In a way that they're like, nobody's this nice. Like, there has to be something wrong with you. So this person's pursuit to try to block your destiny is to prove that you are not, one, deserving, and two, that you don't love yourself as much as you act like you do. Listen, it's not going to work, okay? Because this is the thing. The universe knows that you're very authentic and the universe is feeding off of your real authentic energy, okay? And what you're vibrating at is self-love and love for others. With the fool card, you're taking a leap of faith. Somebody's watching it too. Who's this person? Show us their deal. What's their current energy trying to block the blessings? You could be the star too. You could be a star as well. Yeah, whatever this is, it's not, it's not working out so good. Heavy on the water sign energy. Okay, yeah, four of cups is cancer and energy. Somebody is like trying to figure out, you know, what the heck is going on. Their energy is like, uh, meh, you know, meh, how you doing? Eh. They're like, uh, you know, como se dice, how you doing? They're like, uh, I see, I see, you know, más o menos. They like that, right? Strength card, Leo energy. This is a July Leo, July Leo cancer. What's their deal? Why are they doing this? Look. They just want to win. There's a cancer that could be significant and there's an Aquarius that is significant. Okay. Yeah, they're angry. Five of, five of Wands is just consumed. Somebody just clarify. Somebody's really got something to prove. You got a lot of love and light around you. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, this is about your new beginning. This is you though. Okay. So somebody tried to block your blessings. <laughs> Again, the key word is tried, unsuccessful, absolutely trying, right? They're just trying, honey, trying to the death. Apparently, this is also about possibly a new home, new money, uh, new offers, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, new relationship, new twin flame journey. Somebody is bent out of shape about it. Show us this person. What's their deal? Give us current energy. They feel like... Yeah, they feel like you're doing something that's not real. And they're finding out the hard way that you really are out here living your best life. Like they're watching a lot. Okay, this could be by way of divination. Somebody is really, really curious about you. They could be trying to find your address. They're working really, really hard to see what you got coming in. Um. Yeah, scrying possibly or trying to scry, okay? Some type of mirror magic, trying to, yeah, look, they want to hold you back. Capricorn energy, there's a couple of people involved, I'm going to be honest. There's an Aquarius, a Cancer, possibly a Capricorn, but overall, they want to hold you back. They don't want to see you give to other people, 
okay yeah look they're really weighed down so this was the energy that they were projecting onto you was this weighed down this woe is me i'm the victim i'm the block and you forbid it somebody's doing a lot of self-love and self-work going within watching the blessings come in i just heard you're seeing something very very clearly by way of your destiny and it's amazing and nothing can make you change your sights your vision is unwavering okay a lot of projection energy ten of wands sagittarius energy why are these people way down somebody's birthday could be in december okay i just heard december 4th december 10th okay or december 24th or december 14th yeah somebody's a fire sign very immature at best okay whoever this sagittarius aries and or leo is they're all kind of collaborating with other people yeah they don't want to see you happy but i feel like you're just kind of ignoring the bullshit somebody's staying so focused like yeah look i cannot make this up you are really having a good time like you're networking you're putting yourself out there whatever you're doing it's panning out you know what's so beautiful right now about the divine collective i see a lot of you who are just now starting your platforms look i can't make it up the higher font you're very high ranked i'm high ranked you're high ranked we are a reflection of one another and they're watching listen let me tell you something what i'm seeing is real authentic energy like i see the new platforms that start the new high priestesses the the divine masculines that are coming out like all of y'all man listen i'm so happy for us because the the readings are real you're not trying to put on for nobody you're not doing magic behind the scenes you're not booking personal readings to you know it's some crooked shit going on out there man listen I bought some tarot cards from somebody, child. They tried to put some magic over that stuff. I'm too sensitive to energy. And this person has a huge following. Now they're hiding out in the daytime with a big ass hat on, girl. I see you. We love you. We know you crazy. But you're going to have to give back all that energy she manifested off of other people. But yeah, it's such a beautiful thing to not have any blood on your hands. To do something authentic where you don't have to keep looking over your shoulder like, damn, oh, I did this to somebody and I know they didn't deserve it. No, listen, your debt's been cleared. So when you have energy like this that attempts to, again, I want to stress the word trying. Trying is actively doing something, but absolutely not succeeding. So somebody's just spinning their wheels, going nowhere. Can you imagine? It's like being on a bicycle and you're just spinning your freaking wheels, standing still. Stuck in the mud. Okay. Yeah. Or walking in backwards to some bullshit that you created because the high priests and high priestess are sitting on their throne moving forward. You intuitively are on point. Moving forward, honey. Period. Aries energy. Piscean energy with the high priestess. Intuitive. Psychic. Preparing for something. You could be preparing for some type of an expansion. I can't make it up. You're walking away. Okay. Whatever this is that you're traveling to and or relocating to, this is going to be a, a really good move for you. But here's the thing. The last move was a move for you that was good. Why? Because everything has been an assignment up to said point, right? Now your job at some certain particular place or what the person is through and you have to move forward, right? And so you're doing that. You're being obedient. You're moving forward. Somebody's losing sleep over it, okay? Clarify trying to block the blessings third party. Somebody's wearing a fake ass mask. You, you can also have um, possibly somebody that tried to befriend you is what I just heard. Yeah. And they're not real, okay? Let me tell you something. The three of wands has turned to two. Why? Not that the three of wands is bad. But whatever this energy is, darkness is, it is absolutely the third party, three of wands. It's the wand in between the two. It's these are the two. This is what you're pursuing. You're saying, no, I'm moving forward towards this four of wands with passion. Okay. Somebody wants to be in the middle of that. Somebody wants to paint themselves in your future. Somebody wants to write your future and it's not going to happen. You're making a choice. Two of wands is about making a decision. You know, three of wands is about foresight, intuition, right? So you got the the high priestess to the three of wands. Somebody was trying to envision something that they wanted to happen to you or project something they wanted to happen to you. You yourself have a completely different vision. Three of wands to the high priestess is foresight. And then you got to the two of wands where you narrowed it down and you made a choice. You said, okay, 
I got to make a decision. And so this is what I'm going to do. And so you did. And so that's just what it is. Listen, generosity. Okay. Equal give and take. Somebody is really losing their shit behind it. Like literally somebody's, somebody's crazy. Somebody's whole life is, is like whatever is controlling them. Okay. A spirit of jealousy, greed. These are spirits. This is what people don't understand. A spirit of jealousy. That's a spirit. It goes against the most high God. Why? Because you're saying that whatever this person is getting by way of their destiny, the most high is not willing to give you. But are you in alignment with what it is you need to be in alignment with? Somebody's too busy being sneaky and deceptive with the seven of swords sneaking around your will of fortune that they're not paying attention to their life. They're not adhering to their own destiny. They're so busy trying to see about your yard and how high your grass is that they ain't cut they damn grass in a month of Sundays, child. Probably ain't been asleep either. You better go to sleep because whoever this energy is, this person is up. I just heard the early bird catches the worm. Listen, <laughs> fake people stabbed in the back. Listen, child, listen, somebody is working hard. This is you too. You stand diligent. Consistent divine collective, right? So you got the eight of pentacles, somebody working their little ass off, trying to block your blessings. Clarify trying to block the blessings, trying to block, trying to block, trying to clock your blessings. Yeah, are they trying to block your blessings? You're standing your ground, and the universe is giving them an ass whipping that maybe they might want to sit down for it. if they can. Somebody's ass is about to be worn out by the universe to the point where they can't sit that punk ass down. Listen. Sit your punk ass down. Hey, 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 sit your punk ass. Newcomers, if you are still here, why aren't you liking, sharing, and subscribing? Why? Why? Why is there just a few of you in the chat and nobody's liking, sharing, and subscribing? You know why? Because it helps the algorithms. I need you to help me out, please, and thank you. I thank you so much. I thank you kindly for that beautiful like, love, and share. But the three of wands... Yeah, your ancestors are sharing with these people that, yeah, it's over, okay? Competition. Here's the thing. Can I just tell y'all something that's so funny? It's funny to me. Maybe you will laugh. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just chuckle just a little bit. Maybe you'll put a laughing emoji, whatever it is. Maybe you're really LOLing in real life, right? Nevertheless, you know what's so funny? You got a bunch of people that don't even like each other that came together just to come up against you. Isn't that beautiful? Look at them working well together. You're the common denominator. You're the reason why they said, let's work together. Now they know how to work together on that, but they don't know how to work together for the greater good of the group in the sense that they get them shell sell them shelves. Somebody could be putting up shelves or shelves that they get themselves together. Yeah, maybe they're gathering seashells by the seashore. Who knows? Maybe somebody's name is Shelly. Whatever it is, it's a wrap, okay? <laughs> trying to block the blessings, but they can't. Trying is the key word. They're just trying, y'all, to no avail, uh, to no success. They're just trying, feeling defeated. Five of Wands is like feeling defeated. Just fighting. You just fighting. Who are you fighting? Do you know why you're fighting or what you're fighting up against? You're fighting up against the divine. That's a suicide mission. That's the suicide team. You crazy. What are you doing? Sit down. You want to argue. I can't argue with you. No. You mad. You big mad. Sit your fuck ass down. Listen. Ace of Wands is somebody trying to come up against the creator saying they don't deserve that with the beep, beep, bleep, bleep. They're probably saying nasty little curse words and projections, projections and projecting. I was going to say ejected. Somebody got ejected. Okay. Somebody could be finding it difficult to get their words out. I'm just glad that that's somebody's not me. But yeah, they're projecting some nasty little, nasty little curse words. And literally it's bouncing off of you. Hence the fact that somebody, they are, whoever they are, whatever they got going on, they're in the Ten of Wands, Four of Cups. It's unsuccessful. Okay, this was about power. This was about, you know, proving that you don't deserve this beautiful destiny. And this is beautiful. You are truly in alignment with what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Clarify the energy, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Show us what it is that we need to see. Yeah, Knight of Cups energy. Scorpio Pisces, Cancer. 
somebody's faking your energy, okay? Clarify that that uh flaky ass. Yeah. Listen, somebody's thinking about the past. They're thinking about how kind you were. Um, at the same time, they feel like you don't deserve to be in this wheel of fortune. Glad, we're so glad that they absolutely cannot determine anything as it relates to a parallel line that they absolutely cannot get on somebody wants to jump the timeline leave their destiny behind and come and get on your page and they can't okay so they're looking from their timeline with an evil eye like mm, look at them over there on their timeline all in alignment yeah okay you can't it's a no they're being blocked seven of wands is they're being blocked by the universe Somebody's thinking about the past, what it could have, should have, what you did. Not a cuss. These are people you left behind. They were never loyal. Somebody stabbed you in the back, too. Whoever this person is, yeah, look. Heavy on the, ooh, the horn outside, baby. The universe is talking, and so we will be obedient and listen to the signs and catch the synchronicities. Somebody's a fake-ass friend. Somebody stabbed you in the back. Heavy on the Aquarius energy, okay? February. Not a cup, Scorpio, Pisces, can't. Somebody's got Pisces and Aquarius in their energy. Somebody's got issues with their own personal, like, yeah, Gabriel's blowing the horn. I hear the train in the distance. Yeah, that's always a sign that judgment is coming down real harsh. This could be happening in real time. Like, somebody's getting a hard, like, wake-up call. Like, it's going to shake the entire foundation of these people. Like, literally. In a way that they don't imagine. There's a baby outside of my window crying. Even the baby knows. Listen, so whoever this person is, they're having some issues with their own personal transition, okay? Resisting to change. Very stubborn energy. Very fixed. And they have a lot of emotional baggage. So it's giving, you know, I've been through this. I've been through that. You know, why is it that you get to be happy? And it's not that you've been exempt from going through anything, poverty or even feeling left out in the cold. You just took life and you did something different with it and you made a decision. With the two of wands and the high priestess, that's somebody making a conscious decision like, damn, okay, this happened to me. You know what? I deserve to be happy. I'm going to have a good life. You know, I'm just going to get in alignment with all the good things that I need to. I know that all these other things happen, but it is what it is. So you needing to leave these people was something that was a part of the divine plan. Their time is up. Okay, they didn't want to change. They didn't want to grow, so they couldn't go. I mean, okay, backstabbers. Listen, smile in your face all the time. They wanted to take your place, but they can't. Clarify the nine of swords. Is that the divine beings or is this the... No, it's the hater, honey. It's the hater. It's the hater. Somebody that is projecting their bullshit. You know, where are you going with all that baggage? Where are you going with all that emotional baggage, okay? This is what somebody's got. It's like somebody wants to dump it on you. You could have been a really good confidant for somebody. Somebody that, you know, was a good person. Like, somebody could rely on you. At the same time, it was a one-way street. It was never equally yoked. It was always a codependent energy by way of somebody being not even codependent. Codependent is like two people depending on each other's energy. Somebody was just solely uh, dependent on you coming in and being the saving grace, even if that meant that you would have to compromise yourself. And that's where this deal went wrong. And you got the lesson. You're like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm done here. I think our time is done here. Two of Cups in the reverse. This is jealousy. Uh, for some of you, this is somebody you grew up with, okay? Sister, cousin, brother, friend, used to come over with to spend the night bag. Somebody watched you grow. Somebody doesn't feel like they know you anymore and they don't. They're un they're like in this position where they're not able to heal, okay? Yeah. Yeah, they're not able to heal from the past or anything that's been done to them. So they feel like you being happy is like, it's kind of like poking the bear, but they're delusional. Just you being happy makes them feel inadequate. Like, oh, look at you showing off. No, this is in somebody's head. That's trauma. That's pain. That's wounds still open. That's salt in the wounds. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Okay, you're out here vibrant. There's a lot of fire and water, which gives me passion and balanced emotions and psychic intuitive energy. 
When I think about fire and water, I think about doing what it is that you have to do in terms of using your fire, you know, very wise, you know, with the water, you're intuitive. You know when it's a time to fight. You know when it's a time to stay. You know when it's a time to play. You know when it's a time to go. You got to know the time and what must be done. Shout out to Minister Lewis Farrakhan, the time and what must be done. I attended that uh, by way of via satellite. That was so much fun, 2010, where he predicted a lot of what's going on right now. But listen, that was just a random flashback. Come on back here, Neff. Come on back with me, Soul Tribe, to 2024, current energy. Yeah, this is you. Something about you being nurturing and caring. You know, this person could have mother issues. Maybe you were just overly nice and I don't know. They feel abandoned. Yeah, something about their childhood issues. Page of Cups is like, you know, emotions by way of immat immature energy. Somebody is like having a tantrum with the hopes that it's going to affect you. Because you're ignoring them is what is what this is about. Okay. Yeah. Four of Swords. <sighs> Somebody's tired. This is what's so crazy. They're tired of trying to take you out. Damn. As far as it could be sleeping all day. Somebody's tired of trying to make you tired. Towards following your destiny. Somebody's got a lot of energy. Okay. Hold on, y'all. You know I got my free smoothies. Mmm. What do I have in here, y'all? Let me tell y'all. You know I got to have a commercial break. Listen. Lemon, ginger. What else do I have in here? Was it kale or spinach? I can't remember. Ginkgo viola. Spirulina. I got some other veggies in here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Well, at least we know the ginkgo viola's kicked in. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be for my memory? Child, I get these free every day. I just tell them, surprise me. Every time I go, I'm like, hey, it's your favorite Lifetime Smoothie winner. <laughs> They're like, oh, my God, you're always so happy when you come in here. I'm like, I know. They're like, what do you want? I'm like, just surprise me. Make sure you put that boost in there, you know, a little collagen for my skin. Nevertheless, I'm back. I love y'all. But somebody is looking at you. You could be just looking real good. You could be changing your hair, going to the gym, drinking a smoothie, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, somebody's watching you and you're ascending to your highest good, something about this divine nature that you're carrying. You know, this is what's crazy. Somebody is absolutely trying to block your blessings, but it's to the benefit of them. It's crabs in a barrel type of mentality, type of situation. It's like, come back. Yeah, like, oh, you know, I'll, 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 I'll kill you to make you stay with me. No, no, I don't want you to be that deep. I don't need you to be that deep into the connection that you think you have with me because I'm completely disconnected by where the chariot and the eight of cups. I've been guided to leave it behind by way of source of all things with that ace of cups and the high priestess energy. That's my intuition. I can't ignore my higher self. I wish you peace, love and light. Yeah, but you can't keep trying to come after me. Period. Yeah. Somebody's like, I will, you know, they will do anything to keep you. Yeah, listen. The hermit energy, Virgo energy, somebody is not going within. Somebody's wounded, broken, bound to their pain. Uh, they're not growing. They're not glowing. They're mad. They feel as though you, for some reason, have something to do with the pain that they're in. Or maybe they feel as though when you walked away, you just added to the abandonment. Okay, somebody's not. It's like somebody can't let go. Okay, okay. And in this group effort of other people, they found other people just as bitter and angry as them. Again, congratulations, Divine Collective. Your enemy said, you know, let's work together to take this person down. And so they did. They found other people that are just like them. But in reality, they don't like each other. They don't like each other. They just like each other because of you. They're getting along because of you. But do you see how they're realizing they need to get along? They're faking their joy. That's a good place to start. Good for you guys. Good for you, Karmic Villians. They're faking their joy to get along because they think they're taking you down, but you're gone. And in reality, at the end of the day, they're going to have to deal with themselves. These people are isolated, but isolated with the wrong people, right? This doesn't always mean being alone. You could be in a room full of people and still be by yourself. Okay, that went over somebody's head. That's okay. Just leave that for somebody else to take, okay? Somebody will catch that and somebody won't. 
But yeah, no, these people are like together and they still refusing to go within. Feeding off of hate. Somebody's just tired. Somebody's like ready to lay down. Look, I don't know. You're an earth angel, okay? Trying to block the blessings, third party fake people. What is it that they got going on? Child, yeah. They're still, they're still like sending you some type of weird ass illusions, but... I'm going to be honest, this last ascension, um, these people are just going to hurt themselves. It's like, you know, it's like landing, landing on your own sword, falling into your own grave, whatever graves they're digging up for the divine collective, they're rotten in them. I'm going to be honest, y'all. This is some dark, rotten ass energy. And we just are not in that at all. Like at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just are, it's like every time this attack tries to come up against us, it seems like we just keep getting promoted. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, there's a massive death spell going on. They're going to send us the jitterbugs again. And here we are. And so they did. And now they're sitting up in the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Honestly, they're betraying each other. Yeah, listen, I can't make it up. The Hierophant. Clarify the higher fonts. Okay, well, I would clarify the higher font, but the tower is going to do that for us. Something somebody put out around that full moon, okay? Went to a practitioner, try to bind you. Great, listen, they're bound to it. This is horrible for these people. They're bound to it. There was a bit of a cackle. There was a bit of a hee hee tee hee ha ha ha. We're going to get your raggedy divine bean asses. You know, they were coming after us. They wanted our light. They were angry. They thought, you know, they had a moment of what they thought was a victory. And then they turned around and they can't stop watching. And with the page of source, they're watching you online or driving past your house. And now you got a new car. And now you, they're like, oh, wait, what? This person don't live here no more. Like, yeah, you've been doing witchcraft over this house for the last year. They moved a year ago. <laughs> That's kind of like my true story, y'all. That's a true story. Man, that's a true freaking story. That's so funny. Nevertheless, Tower and the Ace of Swords represents an upheaval, tumultuous times, travesty, you know, sword maiden energy, sword rats, ratting around, munching off of gossip to feed their rancid raggedy souls or the lack thereof yeah these people are people that you show them i love to they were addicted to your love it's crazy because now they're praying that you don't die isn't that funny this fell right on top of the empress they're so funny they're so all over the place confusion is absolutely the the author of i mean who was it satan is the author of confusion okay now they're guarded look at this nine of wands energy wounded warrior energy somebody got wounded trying to wound you the shit bounced off of you ricocheted and hit the entire group and now you got a whole bunch of people in a tower and then somebody's are not us so with the nine of wands they're paranoid now they're praying that something don't happen to you child these people are all over the place because now somebody's had a random ass epiphany that you could very well be divine, Virgo energy, virgin energy, a divine energy, okay? Somebody's getting a, a wake-up call, you know? Somebody's, somebody's like, oh my God, I hope nothing happens. Now that they put this big-ass wish out, now they're fighting one another. They're feeling stupid. Now they're about to try to take each other out. So whatever this entity is, it has all these people going against each other. Yep. Damn. 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 That's crazy. Well... Meanwhile, listen, you got good things coming in, Divine Collective. The Wheel of Fortune absolutely is good news. Um, this is them and this is you. You broke free of some type of an illusion. I feel like you've done this um, over and over so much so that there is divine intervention here. Somebody just thought, you know, maybe if we just keep doing it, this will eventually work out for us and then we'll get what it is that we want. Well, they're getting what they want. They absolutely are getting what they deserve because that's how they're going to learn this lesson. Show us uh, Mr. and Mrs. trying to block the blessings. Oh, okay, well, okay. <laughs> I can't make it up. Like, you saw me shuffle the cards. <laughs> listen, listen, Divine Collective. Judgment and justice together. 
Okay, well, how else are they supposed to learn? This is what karma is saying. How else are they going to learn? We're not sending y'all any hate. What are you doing? Get up. Stop lying. Now they're praying and paranoid that you don't get hurt because the towers are coming back to back. It's a travesty. It's a raggedy ass karmic villain ass experience. Okay. They don't want to sign up for this karma, but it's what they put out. So the universe is saying, uh, 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 uh that's not fair. What are you doing? Okay. I'm going to need you to get it together. Justice and judgment. Okay. Like coming down real quick. I just heard the next three days. Okay. 4022 is confirmation on the clock. I just heard the next, maybe, uh, Something's like one, two, three, four. I don't know why. One, two, three, four days, okay? Or something's happening on those days. Four of cups. Temperance. Okay, something about pulling back. These people could be, I don't know, pulling back. They don't want to go within. Something's controlling these people. Something on assignment. You've already forgiven them. You've already conquered the entity. Now it's for them to conquer. These are spirits of fear. They're spying, they're watching, they're trying to see if it's having an effect on you. Clarify my left eye. Clarify my left eye. Yeah, they want to come in and make an offer. Left eye is twitching. So somebody could be trying to open up a portal, trying to see what you have coming in is what I'm getting. Trying to see if you have something coming in, the two of cups, they want to be a part of it. And they want to come in and make an apology again, because now it's gone from trying to block your blessings to needing your help. Asking you, how did you do that? You know, it's like, yeah, I can't make it up. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody shake backfired. Let's just make sure it wasn't in the reverse. Yeah, somebody was working real, real hard, though. I ain't going to even lie. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working towards your new goals. Yeah. Whatever this is, while other people were planning on your downfall, gossiping, the same old regular stuff, whatever they did up under the moon, the same things, right? You were focused and diligent, okay? The Eight of Pentacles came up in reverse for them, but honestly, intuitively, I feel this is us. Staying focused, diligent, okay? You know, yeah, it's like how many times on this, uh, you know, raggedy ass merry-go-round do I need to go before I get it? And you just started to focus on the divine with the Ace of Cups. Something about your earthly matters. Yeah, the star. I can't make it up. Some of you are in the public eye. Or you're planning something in the public eye. Or you're just being seen. That energy has been so consistent. Child in the water. And you got somebody. Whoever this Aquarius is from your past. You know, shout out to all my beautiful Aquariuses. This one in the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. Unhealed energy. God bless this person. They are working so hard. Okay. They're working so hard for you not to be this star. They're weighed down. They're just, they want to see you stressed out. They want to see you miss out. Somebody is so weighed down. That's so sad. Because Spirit is saying that they're going to waste a lot of their time. Um, they're going to waste a lot of their time focused on you and their life is about to fall apart. Yeah. Look, eight of cups, you've already left the situation. So it's almost like somebody being in a battle that you have since, you know, like you surrendered it, you overcame, you got the lessons, you moved on and somebody's still standing there in an illusion fighting themselves with a whole bunch of other people that are fighting themselves. And nobody's telling anybody the truth because they're all liars. They're like, yeah, this is going to work. And that, yeah, it's not. Look, I can't make it up. Not of swords and death, fighting to the death. Yeah, that's dangerous. Like some of this could result in some type of a death for these people. That's so sad. I feel like you stood up for yourself and you just walked away. You're focused on things that has, like it has your full attention. You're excited about whatever you're working on, Divine Collective. It's it's definitely um, igniting your passion. Yeah, and you're protecting it. And the ancestors are protecting you. I can't make it up. You're following your intuition with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're not playing. The High Priestess, I always say the Hermit in the Upright is just as good as the High Priestess. Why? Because you have to go within by way of your intuition 
to tell yourself, I can't make it up at the bottom of the deck, the truth. Okay, well, I'm being guided to take that. Meanwhile, you're the one in the seven of swords now because people don't know what the hell is going on with your life. Child, somebody paid somebody too to bring you a tower. You ate it. You ate through the illusion. Somebody wanted you stuck in the past and because they're stuck in the past. In order to keep projecting a past cycle, you have to be in that in that time. So whoever they are, yeah, wanting to hold you back. I can't make it up. Wanted you stuck, indecisive. Now they're in the five of cups. Somebody wanted you to feel, I don't know, undeserving of this ten of pentacles. Okay. Well, it's not happening. So this is the message. This does conclude this reading, third party. Trying to block your blessings, you know. If these people got paid for trying, they would be wealthy. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. If they got paid for trying, they would be wealthy. My left eye is twitching a little bit. So somebody's trying to see what you got coming in, honey. You could just be moving in silence. Maybe you're not making a, you know, you're just not uh, sharing a lot, right? Especially not with these people. Some of these people are absolutely wearing a mask, though. So these are people that are coming off like they want to collaborate with you, but they're not. They don't want to. They just want to hold you back. It's a competition. It's like, you know, they don't really want you to win. They want to just, you know, use up your time. And I feel like you've cut ties. Whatever this is, Eight of Cups, you've put an end to this, okay? This is like, you're done. So whatever somebody thinks that they want, it's up to them. Trying to block your blessings, well, 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 somebody could have called off work, child, just to stay home to try to block your blessings. Oh, my God. You're running out of PTO and VTO. <laughs> You're running out of time. You better quit using your time off for that. Girl, guy, what is it? Maybe take a self-esteem class or steam your face and steam all that, steam all that hate out your soul or something. But the way your life is going with you trying to stop somebody else and you're banking your joy on knowing that you block somebody else, damn, you really got to have a real conversation with yourself. That's sad. You know, I just heard somebody say it's not working. Uh, you think <laughs> you think you got towers going on? Yeah, somebody's in a bad a bad mood, okay? A funky little rancid ass, fishy ass mood. And they feel like they want to dump all of their nastiness onto you, Divine Collective. But again, they can dump it if they want to. We're just transmuting. And I'm not giving no power back no more. I'm not returning to sender, none of that. I was doing that at first as a courtesy with the hopes that people would get their energy back and purify themselves. No, I'm not doing it. No, I'm keeping it. So you send some nasty ass energy to me, I'm transmuting that shit into roses butterflies you know and just rainbows and it's going to be a really good thing so this is the message i love y'all if this resonated with you you know what it really does make me happy you know that it does i love you so much i love you so tribe i really really do if this resonated and you'd like to donate to the channel it is greatly appreciated it's not required this is a free reading um, if you want to send me some love and light, I'm going to send it right back to you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you with a whole bunch of love and light. I will absolutely see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.